I'm Yuki Washington with your evening digital news brief for Thursday, January 24th. The St. Joe's University student escapes after he's carjacked at gunpoint near campus. Police say a gunman approached the student last night on the 5300 block of Winfield Avenue and demanded his keys, wallet, and phone. According to police, the victim had to drive the carjacker around for about 20 minutes before he finally escaped. Officers found the car a few blocks away, but the suspect got away. Police tell us there have been several similar incidents in the area over the last month. Police are also looking for a driver wanted for a road rage shooting in Montgomery County. It happened last night on Route 309 in White Marsh Township. The 63-year-old victim says he was on his way home when he switched lanes so he could get on the turnpike. He says a maroon sedan with a New Jersey license plate passed him and the driver of that car opened fire, shooting him in the arm. The victim is recovering tonight. President Trump says negotiations are back on after the Senate voted down two bills today that would have ended the 34-day-long government shutdown. Lawmakers rejected proposals from both Democrats and Republicans. Now the president says any short-term deal must include a large down payment for a wall on the southern border. The Pennsylvania Public Utility Commission has temporarily shut down the Mariner East 1 pipeline. They're investigating a sinkhole that developed last week in a yard in West Whiteland Township, Chester County. The sinkhole on Lisa Drive has been temporarily stabilized, and the pipeline will not reopen until the investigation is complete. Remember, you can always get the latest on these stories and much more right here at CBSPhilly.com. That is the latest for the evening digital brief. I'm Yuki Washington.